Hi everybody, it's Deanna Fenton here with this week's episode of Simple Steps to Online Success. This is the show that helps you if you're an online course or membership site creator, how to build a profitable business. My platform of choice is Kajabi, but a lot of the things that I talk about, including today's topic, can apply to you whether or not you're using Kajabi, or another platform for your online business. Let's go ahead and dive into specifically what happened yesterday and Kajabi's announcement. Now, I do have to tell you that um, I actually had been a beta tester for this particular um, update. And honestly, I had it so long, I kind of already thought that everybody else had it. And then I realized that they didn't. I'm pretty honest. I'm transparent and I'm brutally honest. Well, I guess brutally honest. That might might say it. I, I'm going to just tell you the truth as I see it, okay? So what was new with the Kajabi email? The very first thing, and I am going to show you this, is there is a new visual editor when you're creating your emails, although it is only right now for your email broadcasts. So here's where the honesty comes in. I truly believe, you probably have heard the term, success leaves clues. I look at what the biggest players in the digital marketing space are doing when it comes to their emails, and they're not dressing them up with a lot of images. If you look at the Amy Porterfields, the Stu McLarens, and James Wedmores out there in the wild, their emails are typically plain text. And in fact, so this is an Amy Porterfield email. I mean, this is, in all honesty, this is her promoting uh, B-School. So this was an email she just sent out today. And you can see it is primarily text. Um, occasionally now, she, she does have a link in here that leads to a video training by Marie Forleo. And you'll see that like here, but for the most part, this is plain text. So I kind of liken back because I've been in this world, this digital world a long time. Constant Contact used to have very elaborate um, templates with lots of images and elements to it that people really loved. And I guess what really happened with Kajabi is that people were looking for that same type of format for their emails. And I can totally understand it if in some cases people are selling things that are very visual or perhaps their um, what they are selling is very brand focused and images are a strong component of their brand. But here again, here's James Wedmore, and this is his weekly broadcast uh, email that he sends out promoting his podcast. And you can see here, there is absolutely no images. It's all text. So when this visual editor part came out, I went, well, that's kind of nice, but I'm kind of focused on plain text emails because my understanding was plain text emails were better to increase the likelihood that my email was going to end up in somebody's inbox and not in their spam folder. Um, I will show you, however, a big player in the digital space who looks to me to be testing more images in his weekly email. So this is Pat Flynn, and I'll tell you that Pat Flynn for all the other emails that he sends out, uses plain text. But once a week now, he is sending out more of a traditional newsletter format email, and he's using images. Test it and see. I am personally interested in testing it. So what I will be doing just to let you know in terms of what I'm looking at doing, is I'm going to be looking at sending out the notice for my upcoming um, Facebook Live in plain text 
And then maybe my recap at the end of the week, I would try and do something along the lines of what Pat Flynn is doing. 